Hi guys, it's Veronica and in this tutorial I wanted to show you how I set up and created the Create Your Burger interaction. Um, firstly, what I did, the very, very th first thing I did, because I already had this idea in my mind of what I wanted to do, was sketching it out on paper. And I'm, I'm a terrible drawer, but you can see on this first picture that I've got the, my main screens all sketched out there with some idea of variables and how they would work. It didn't all end up exactly like on paper, but that helped me to um, get clear in my mind how things had to work. And on this second screen, you can see that I've got uh, some more detail about the important screens in the interaction. For example, on the top left there you can see the confirm your order screen which is the, the main one in terms of uh, complexity in the interaction. And then down the bottom on the left I've got all the different states that I needed each of the items to, to be able to turn uh, depending on the choices that the user made. And then on this right page I've got all the big list of variables there. They've been crossed off <laughs> as, I, as I got them on the on the storyline um, file. So this is how I started. So in this video I'll show you how I set up the interaction, all the different screens and the elements and I'll do a second video to show you how it all fits, fits together and works with triggers and variables and such. So this is basically my very first screen. It's very simple, it's just a video inserted into storyline, it's just a stock video and then I inserted a semi-transparent rectangle over the top to just make that effect and the um, rectangle is set at a fade animation to come in over 10 seconds so it's a very very subtle fade in and then I've got my basically my logo and my banner that come down with a wipe animation from the top and this go button at first I didn't have this intro skip intro button there but I realized that if someone wanted to go again they would have to sit through the whole intro uh, all over again so I just introduced a skip intro button which I think is good practice to do um, anyway. So the next slides are all about choosing what you want to have in your burger so this first one and the next one are basically a ch pick one so you've got to pick one of these three and you can only pick one but you have to pick one because with no meat you've got no burger so this is basically a button set you can see I've called my button set patty and it operates it works like a button set so when one is selected um, the other ones are not and and so on. The cheese one, choose your cheese, is the same so these three images are also a button set called cheese because um, at this point at least uh, and you could change it of course um, I'm only allowing them to select one type of cheese. And then we've got the other screens for the sauce and the veggies and stuff. So this one they can select potentially all three or two or just one of them. And I've done the same for the freshen it up one. And for the extras you can choose all the extras if you want to, the sides. And you can choose all the drinks if you want to as well. And then the final screen you've got a confirm your order screen which basically this was the more complex screen out of the whole interaction. This is going to build the, um, basically it's going to build the user's order before their very eyes and um, once they do that they can confirm their purchase by pressing this confirm button at which point the checkout button becomes available and they go to the checkout screen and the checkout screen has their prices by um, not by item but by category so the burger price and the sides price and the drinks price and then the total price for that and you can see the variables there I'll show you the variables panel in just a moment and when they pay now of course they don't actually pay anything but they just go to this layer which um, ends the interaction so just a couple more things in this video um, you'll see that on the very first uh, slide where you choose a type of uh, meat that you want in your burger we've got an add button and a reset button so when you've got a button set and you've selected one of them then it'll always stay selected if you select a different one it'll select that one and you will always have something selected so I added a reset button which basically you can have a look here on the triggers panel that reset button basically turns all of these three pictures back to normal if the user clicks on it so that they can uh, choose again or decide that they don't want to choose anything. So here for example with a cheese where you actually are allowed to skip and not have any cheese on your burger and the same with the subsequent screens if you reset it it'll they all go back to normal 
and um, you can you can just skip or add a different one and I'll just show you here with the states so each of these um, items that you can choose and make that a little bit bigger they basically have a normal state and a selected state and that's all the states that I've given these and the interaction relies a lot on state changes and also combined with variables which I'll show you in the next video on these um, other screens as I mentioned I've got as well as a reset button I've got a skip button and the skip button basically shows you a layer which is this one and it's just basically getting the user to confirm that they don't actually want any of the items on that screen so they can say yep I'm sure I don't want anything or no I, ma I made a mistake please um, please give me some source <laughs> so if they click sources please in this case then the, this will just hide the layer and they can make their selection but if they don't they will just click on yes I'm sure moving right along so that's the basic setup of the interaction um, I'll show you this screen in the next video and I hope this was useful bye